Welcome to One Up Game Dev. Thank you for tuning in to my first devlog video. This video is going to be the first of many videos I am going to share in line with my personal projects that I am currently working on. The first project that I am very excited to show you is a fan-made level design project targeted towards The Last of Us Part 2. The goal behind this project was to take a level design idea and take it through a complete development cycle. This meant going all the way from paper design to a completed set with proper art assets in a game engine. I was originally inclined towards using Unity for my project since I have been using it for a few years and I'm very familiar with it, but I did not want to jump into a decision right away. After doing some research, I came across Megascans. Megascans is a massive online scan library of high resolution 3D assets. It is a product by Quixel, a company that recently got acquired by Epic Games. This meant that now all of Quixel's products, including Megascans, were free to use at Unreal Engine. After taking a look at their library, I found that they had thousands of assets which included materials, 3D assets, decals, vegetation, brushes and a lot more. And the best part about this was that everything was available in at least 4K resolution, while a big chunk also had 8K as an option. While using Megascans with Unreal Engine, the assets are all very dynamic with LODs already set for each asset, plus the Megascans plugin allows the devs to have full control over every single aspect of each asset taken from the library. You can change the color, the normal intensity, wind effects for the plants and even make this thing called a blend material. I will talk more about blend materials in a future video and explain why it is one of the best things for a person with little to no knowledge about UV unwrapping and texturing. But yeah, after doing so much research on Megascans and realizing that this tool would be great for my project, I had to look no further. I decided to go with Unreal Engine because of its brilliant seamless integration with Quixel's Megascans. And it also enabled me to learn Unreal Engine, an engine that I have used very little before. I decided to make this devlog series after a little progress was already made towards the project. So as of now, the paper design, the 3D blockout in Maya, and a partial set dressing of one of the rooms in the level is already done. I'll talk more about this in future videos. I want to use the next part of the video to give a brief introduction about myself. I am a 23 year old from Chennai, India, with a master's degree in game design. I started studying game development in 2015, but the story began back in 2011 when I was just about 14 years old. I used to play Counter-Strike all day and eventually ended up hosting my own dedicated Counter-Strike server at my dad's office. The server ended up being ranked number one in the world and that's what motivated me to be a game developer. Fast forward to 2015. I finished high school and got into DSK International Campus, a university that had an affiliation with Rubica France. I studied there for three years when suddenly the university had to shut down and all of our students were left helpless. I then took a short break and started my master's degree in game design at Kingston University London. I met a ton of amazing people and also got to showcase my game at Develop Brighton. In February 2020, I completed my course at Kingston and then very quickly the world found itself in the middle of a pandemic. <sighs> With the ongoing pandemic and me being an international student, securing a job in the UK was getting very hard. I did some voluntary work for a few months in the UK and then had to move back to India. I'm currently using my time working on different projects, one of which is this level design project. So yeah, that's a quick introduction about me. Make sure you use the link below to join me on the Discord server to talk to me directly. Hit the subscribe button to keep yourself updated with my progress 
and to get a notification on my future videos. Please do hit the like or dislike button below. It helps me judge the quality of the work I'm putting out there and helps me improve for the future. So that's it for this video. My name is Anuj. Thank you for watching. Take care and I will catch you in the next video. Bye bye.